Hello Game Gumshoes fans, Chris here with another review. Uh, this time it's for a game that I've kind of sort of reviewed in the past, but thanks to Out of the Box Games, there's a new travel size version of Snake Oil. This one's called Party Potion. Um, just a little background on Snake Oil. Uh, it's kind of like all the other party games in a way. You have players, they have cards in their hands. In this case you get six word cards. Um, they have all different kinds of words on them. And you have one person who is playing the customer, whether it be the magician, the grandma, there's a whole bunch of them. Um, the box is much smaller. It comes with this nifty little tray in it. As you can see, it holds your cards very well. Uh, here's your player cards. Now, there's not a lot of different customers in this one, uh, but they're the same size cards as your other versions of uh, Snake Oil, if you have them. So if you're going somewhere and you wanted to throw a couple extra characters in here, you probably could. There are some duplicates, but there's also some new ones too. So like in the other version, there's a, pol um, a politician. In this particular set, it's the president. I mean, it's still kind of a politician, but it's an elected official, not just someone trying for votes. Um, also, breaking with tradition, you have this rule book. It's small and thin, just like the uh, box is now. You fold it in half, and as you can see, the rules only come to about here, so here to here. All the rest of this is just story and ways to play, you know, other than the regular one. As well as advertisements, I need to find this copy of uh, steak oil called Elixir. Um, I'll contact out of the box so you can see if I can get a copy of that. So, like I said, uh, when you play it, it's fun. It's a great party game. The thing is, you it helps to play with creative people or people who are willing to be a little out there. Because you start off with six cards in your hand, and then they're all random words, and you get presented with a, uh, a customer, you know, whoever the first player is. Uh, well, let's, let's say it's a magician. And each player goes and they pick out two words and they try to make a product for the magician or whoever your customer happens to be. Um, and everybody takes turns going around the table, you know, pitching their um, product. Um, so if I were playing right now and I happen to have the words cheese and top hat, I would tell the magician, hey, I have the perfect product for you. I have the cheese top hat it's light it's durable you can wear it on your head you can pull rabbits out of it and if your act isn't going so well and you're starving a little bit just nip off a little bit of your cheese hat and you know snack on it i mean it'll last for a while i mean look how big this thing is it'd make a great product prop and food stuff try the new cheese top hat and, you know, as long as you've got people that are willing to basically make a fool of themselves, then this is a great game. And we've seen it played at all kinds of different places. I even played it at a park uh, over the weekend when I was uh, checking it out and seeing how it compared to the other snake oil. Um, I'm, I'm still impressed with it. It's still a good game. Very solid. Uh, some of the new characters are great. Um, if you get a chance, check it out. It's Snake Oil uh, Party Potion. Yeah, Party Potion. And, um, you know, you can pretty much get it just about everywhere. Read my written review and it'll tell you a little bit more about the game. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you on the next video.